10 MMA fighters currently rotting in jail and the reasons why. Josh Grisby Josh the Fluke Grisby was a professional MMA competitor from 2006 until 2014 and has competed for the WEC and UFC. Back in his world extreme cage fighting days, Grisby fought his way to a powerful status with four straight wins, which included a submission win over former UFC lightweight champion Jens Pulver. He also won against the likes of L.C. Davis, Micah Miller, Mark Omnick, Spencer Page, Paul Gorman, and Gledon Medeiros. However, his lucky streak didn't continue for long as he lost four fights in a row after that. Most likely, Grisby wasn't very happy with the results, which could probably explain why he decided to release his aggression out at home. As such, in 2014, he was charged with improperly storing firearms near minors and multiple counts of battery and assault. The first time around, Grisby was released within the same week after posting bail. However, on the day of his release, he was involved in yet another assault, just like the first entry at the end of this video. When the police searched his house, they also found controlled substances in the premises. So in 2017, he was convicted on 25 charges and was sentenced to five and a half years in prison. Lee Murray Lee Murray is an English-born former MMA fighter who, with a record of eight wins and two losses, had a relatively successful career. His career was cut short, however, due to a stabbing incident. Now, Murray is far from just a fighter, as he became one of the most notorious criminals in Great Britain by taking part in the biggest bank heist in British history. He was considered to be so dangerous that even the police preferred not to confront him. The UFC president, Dana White, said once that Murray is a scary individual and not just fighter-wise. In June of 2010, he was sentenced to 10 years in prison for masterminding an armed depot robbery in England, during which he stole over $92 million. Two of his accomplices were released after minimal sentences and one was extradited to the UK. Murray's situation, however, was complicated due to possession of controlled substances and his Moroccan ancestry, and he ended up being jailed in Morocco. After a failed appeal and his attempt to escape prison, his sentence was extended to 25 years. Wowza, I'm gobsmacked. Cedric Marks Cedric Spider-Man Marks had an MMA career that lasted over 10 years, during which he shared the cage with some big names and ran up a journeyman's record of 31 and 27. But the good impression on him ends there, because this former MMA fighter was charged with murder in 2019. When his victims were discovered, Marks was already arrested on suspicion of burglary. As such, he was extradited to Texas. But while he was being transported, he managed to escape the vehicle and he was finally recaptured after a nine hour long search. Needless to say, this did not make him look very innocent. The prosecutors were seeking the death penalty for Marks and the judge ruled that it could be considered in this case if he was found guilty. However, before a decision was reached, the investigators put the spotlight on him as the main suspect in another case. He was now investigated in the case of an ex girlfriend April Peace's disappearance that stems back to 2009. This new charge saw him on the hook for second degree murder. Jason Miller Jason Mayhem Miller has fought in the UFC, WFA, and WEC and beat many of his famous opponents. But apart from his impressive career as a fighter, he has truly lived up to his name because throughout the years, Miller had plenty of run-ins with the law. Since 2011, he's been arrested every year, like clockwork. From assaults and sleeping in his birthday suit in a church to resisting arrests and driving under the influence, he has a long list of felonies. For example, back in 2014, Miller once barricaded himself inside his home and tweeted a five-hour-long standoff with the police when they tried to serve him with an arrest warrant. In 2017, he pled guilty to domestic violence and was sentenced to 124 days in jail. In 2019, he pled guilty to misdemeanor violation of a restraining order and felony vandalism after trashing his girlfriend's home. In 2020, while on probation in the domestic violence case, Miller was accused of committing residential burglary and car theft against someone he knew. As expected, he was charged with first degree burglary and Grand Theft Auto, and is currently being held in Orange County Jail on no bond. Ben Sassoli The Australian USC fighter Ben Sassoli is remembered mainly for the no contest against Greg Hardy in 2019, when Hardy's win was overturned due to his illegal use of an inhaler between rounds. However, his career didn't last long, and he was reportedly released from the UFC because of an offense he caused. In 2020, he was sentenced to 22 months in jail after recklessly causing serious injury to a man while working as a bouncer at a Melbourne lounge bar. Although Sosoli himself said that he was provoked, the judge told him that this is not an excuse to respond to provocation in the way that he did. Rob Broughton 
Rob Broton is an English MMA fighter and has been a professional competitor since 2004 and has recently competed in the heavyweight division of the UFC. He gained notoriety as the British Cage Rage heavyweight champion in 2006 after defeating James Thompson. He then went on to sign with the UFC on a multi-fight contract four years later on the 21st of April 2010. His first fight at the UFC was against Vinicius Cueros, which he went on to win. He's also faced Ollie Thompson, Neil Wayan, Yusuke Kawaguchi, Sidney De Silva, and Martin Thompson, all of whom he's beaten. In an unfortunate turn of events earlier this year, Broughton was sentenced to eight years in prison for being an enforcer to collect on unpaid debts for a Liverpool-based drug ring. Reportedly, Broughton didn't have any direct contact with the controlled substances that were sold by the gang, but he did collect debts from people who owed the money and it's believed to have moved around $41 million in cash. Jonathan Paul Coppenhaver when someone legally changes their name to War Machine, it can easily be a good reason to worry about their state of mind. Jonathan Paul Coppenhaver, commonly known as War Machine, had a fairly impressive overall record of 14 and 5 across different MMA fights. And apart from being a professional fighter, he also pursued other questionable careers. Now, as for the reason why he's on our list, well, let's just say there's a few. His first known legal case was back in 2007 when War Machine had been found guilty of aggravated assault. He was sentenced to three years of probation and 30 days of community service. In 2010, he went to jail for two years for a felony assault conviction. But why is he in jail now? Well, in 2017, he was engaged in an assault at home. He was charged with 29 felony counts and consequently sentenced to a life term in prison with a chance of parole in... 36 years. Jeremy Jackson. Jeremy Jackson is a former UFC welterweight and the Ultimate Fighter 4 cast member from California. Although he was thrown off the TUF 4 after violating the rules and leaving the fighter house, Jackson competed in several major tournaments throughout his career. His biggest claim to fame is being known as one of the only few fighters who knocked out Nick Diaz, and he did it within just 49 seconds. Although he went on to lose the trilogy with Diaz. His career ended up being short-lived because in 2008, he was charged with multiple felony offenses against his ex-girlfriend, which included Included breaking into her house. Jackson pled guilty and received a sentence of 25 years to life. Jared Wyatt Calling Jared Wyatt a fully-fledged MMA fighter would be an overstatement because he only fought professionally once, although it is technically true. However, the media enjoyed using that label extensively during the time of his trial. By now, you might be wondering why he became so well-known. Well, in 2010, Wyatt was charged with something that you probably only heard of in horror movies. He was accused of the gruesome murder of his 21-year-old sparring partner, Taylor Powell. This was because Wyatt had consumed hallucinogenic drugs. According to reports, Wyatt was convinced he was in a fight with the devil and that the world was about to end. Wyatt prompted psychiatrists to evaluate his mental competency in order to enter the pleas of not guilty by reason of insanity. However, a judge ruled he was competent to stand trial. He ended up pleading guilty to this shocking crime and was sentenced to 50 years to life in prison in 2010. Talk about eerie. Joseph Sun. Joe Sun had a short career in the MMA, and he retired with a 0-4 record. He is mostly known for taking some of the most vicious strikes from Keith Hackney. With a starring role in the 97 movie Austin Powers, Sun was also recognized outside of the cage as an actor. That was until his legal trouble started. In 2008, he was charged with a felony vandalism account, which landed him in jail for 60 days and an additional 90 days due to violating his probation terms. However, during that period, his DNA sample, which he was required to provide as part of a condition of his original plea agreement, was linked to a series of serious crimes committed against a young woman back in 1990. He ended up being sentenced to seven years to life, but his criminal activity didn't stop there. Within the same year, Sun was also accused of taking the life of his cellmate, after which he was removed to solitary confinement and received a further 27-year sentence. Click on the playlist on the left to binge watch more sports stars as well as celebrities currently rotting in jail and the reasons why. We'll see you there.